G'day Magpie fans, Josh Fraser here, your host of the Black and White Show this week. Let's go for a walk around the Westpac Centre and see what the boys are up to. Best song or songs to listen to before a game? Uh, Mariah Carey, you know. I don't mind a bit of Mariah. A um, bit of Jason Derulo, maybe riding solo. Um, I'm listening to Eminem's new sound- soundtrack, mate. Yep. Any relation to Skittles? Uh... <laughs> It's a song by a day to remember called Miserable at Best. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I don't listen to music before we go. Yeah. Oh, no, I do. I do. Oh, oh my God, by Usher. Oh, I have it on shuffle, so anything. Bit of hip-hop, bit of, bit of everything. Country? Country and western? Yeah. Easy listening every now and then, doesn't hurt. Um, your best song to listen to before we go? Um, the Gambler. Can you ride <laughs> Here it goes. How do you go on a dance floor, Eddie? <laughs> you got any signature moves? Um, you should know that answer, mate. You've seen me out a couple of times, and oh, I do have a couple of special moves there. The shirt off over your heads. <laughs> seen you, mate, in good form. Um, the gambler! Who's that? Nice. Don't go too bad on the dance floor. And the, seen you do the sprinkler on the podium a few times. Times. Maybe the robot. I'm not bad at the robot. Sean Rusley's pretty happy with me, robot. So. Shane Avery said to me, you got to ask Jack about the signature move called the pounce. Nah, I don't think that you guys just made that one up. <laughs> I don't really dance. I don't. I've seen you dance before. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Very much like a cowboy without the lasso. <laughs> no signature moves. I like to sort of sit back and watch some of the other boys tackle it head on. Okay, mate, which players would carve up the dance floor and, uh, and which would struggle? I reckon uh, Woody struggles. Uh, he just struggles in most things, really. Uh, I reckon, uh, and Harry, he can carve up a dance floor. Yep. Harry would be good. Sharrod, kids. Um, Daisy would struggle because he's got a good body. Uh, Dog's body? No, I said a good body. He'd struggle to move. He's a built unit. Um, you, you know, Maxie would probably struggle. What do you reckon? Yeah, Maxie would struggle big time. Yeah. Yep. I think Harry car- carves it up. He loves getting up on the floor and dancing away. And um, it's unlike Harry to be in the centre of attention. Steel, Steel Solid Bottom does. Uh, he has got a couple of tricks up his sleeve. You uh, just another question. Have you seen Shane O'Brien dance? Um, Actually, I, have you seen Mr Bean dance? Uh, I've seen Mr Bean. I haven't seen Oves, but I'll be, ha- I'll be really excited to see him. Let me tell you, mate, if you've seen Mr Bean, you've seen Oves. Uh, probably the best I've seen on the dance floor is uh, Presty. Simon Presty Giacomo. Yeah, that, that, that's a very good answer because uh, he loves... too often. It doesn't happen too often, but... Uh, when you see him venture up onto the podium... Gets the shirt unbuttoned about halfway yeah, with the chains. The Big 35 there. on the end of the chain. <laughs> Um, the snake skin, the snake skin, the chino pants, the pants. <laughs> and he's got the glow sticks. <laughs> um, the biggest sledger in our team. Um, I don't know. We don't really have any sledges in our team. We're we're pretty good. Um, you, Obes. The bloke that probably talks the most on the ground, is Lee Brown, likes to, uh, likes to save it. He, he likes to more sledging at the. Uh, at the runners, the runners and the uh, water boys putting in his lunch order. So, <laughs> yeah. I was when he plays, but he more gets stuck into the umpires. Josh Thomas, Scott Pendlebury, but he's usually he's usually pretty. Uh, not much thought goes into him there. You can't kick. <laughs> I was gonna say, hey, sure. Oh, Heater has a bit of a lip bids in that. They like it, getting the mouth going. Yeah, the best sledge you've ever copped. You've only been in the game for a short time, so there wouldn't be too many. But you remember copping a good one? Oh, I get. I get the your tattoos, your <laughs> mate. I get that one a lot. I don't know why people say it. They're clearly not. No, they're sensational tattoos. But Michael Boss asked me who I was. It's a legitimate uh, question. I would have yeah, thought exactly. it was my first game, and he said, "Who, who the f are you?" And your reply was, "Clearly, I'm a Collingwood player." <laughs> <laughs> that was and what? Nice. And what did he say to that? He kept running. And I was pretty happy that he kept running away. There was one real good one this year when we played St Kilda. I just couldn't think of it. Oh, I get called eight ball a fair bit. For two reasons, I look like an eight ball. I've got a bald head. And the second reason is that I'm behind the eight ball. <laughs> Do you want to get back to us? 
Because I'll, I'll have my phone on tonight, so if you think of it, give us a buzz and I'll just come around. Always something about being short or something like that. So. Yeah. I think I got sledged up at the Gordy, I was got, got called a hippie, so I was <laughs> a bit confronting at the time. But <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's come to me. Want to be good now. Aaron Ray said to me, he said to me, isn't your name Dwayne, not Dane? And that was, that was, that was his sledge. <laughs> There you have it, Magpie fans. I hope you've enjoyed this week's show. Hopefully you can all get down to the MCG this week and support the boys in a big crunch game against the Saints. See you next week.